What's up, what's up, people? Welcome back to episode 5 of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We're back here today. Last episode, we got ourselves built up with a brand new skeleton spawner, and now we have ourselves some nice diamond tools. And I got a few enchantments done, actually, in between the episodes. Uh, just mainly this one. I got a diamond sword, which is pretty sweet. Sharpness 4, looting 3, which is going to be very helpful today, because we will be jumping into the nether. And then I disenchanted... I don't remember if it was my shovel or my axe, and I ended up just getting efficiency four flat on them. And then I don't know if we did the bow last episode or not, but I did get a power four flame bow, which is pretty nice. But I think I'm gonna try getting ourselves set up with an infinity bow. Even though we do have a lot of arrows from the skeleton spawner, I prefer to have a pretty empty inventory. It would be pretty nice to have that. So I'm also debating on bringing the enchantment table actually over to the skeleton spawner or breeding up a few more cows so we can get another enchantment set up over there. But hope you guys enjoyed last episode. It looks like you guys did with the views. And yeah, I mean, to talk to you guys a little bit about the video schedule here, the plan right now and what I've been doing is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, videos have been dropping and I think it's working pretty well. You guys let me know down below if you guys like this schedule, I can switch it up and I can also do two videos a week, but more content in the videos because if we're doing three videos a week, I'm not able to get a ton of content, maybe a little building progress, kind of explore a little bit and get a few other things done. But you guys are gonna have to let me know on that side of things, cause I don't mind, we can do either one, but I think I'm actually gonna jump down into the skeleton spawner right now and try getting ourselves set up with, I would say 33 levels, I think should be fine to try and get an infinity bow, which would be pretty nice. So I will see you guys once I'm up to level 33. All right, I spent way too long down at that skelly spawner just getting up to level 30 and I just couldn't wait any longer. So we're gonna see what we can get with just one level 30 enchantment. We're just gonna grab a few different things here to make sure we're not missing out on anything too good. What's this bow got? So we have punch tool on that bow and we still have this one. Uh, oh, I must have put the other one away. Okay, so yeah, we have the enchanted one. Um, and I did not disenchant that one because in case we get a bad bow, I still want to have, have something decent that we can work with. And it really doesn't look like there's anything too good. So I'll just go with this guy. Please have infinity. And no infinity, sadly. That's not, that, not the best thing ever. So we can actually combine that with our other bow if I can go find it. Uh, watch the next enchantment, by the way. Be infinity watch it watch it nope it's not okay luckily that one is not infinity because that would really suck if it was because then i'll really go down to the skeleton spawner and get three more levels to get that guy so let's see where i put this bow i don't think i put it in here so i was to make one of these bows full i mixed the other two bows like this and you can get a fresh bow out of it if you mix them enough and i must have mixed our enchanted bow with uh, a non-enchanted bow so sadly now this is the only bow we have so i'll just bring like two or three stacks of arrows with me we have plenty of them from the skeleton spawner but i'm gonna get a few blocks collected and we will venture into the nether so i think we are ready to actually head into the nether i got ourselves three stacks of cobblestone a stack and a half of arrows which should be enough hopefully i can just make my shots and it won't matter too much i'm kind of debating right now whether or not I go grab more arrows. I just really don't want to travel that far. You know what? Yeah, we can make it with just three or one and a half stacks, which should be fine. Plenty of food, and we got to be pretty careful here because if you guys remember correctly, this is our spawn, which is terrible. I'm actually going to take that shield out of hand real quick, and let's get rid of some of this stuff. Very, very dangerous. And let's get cobblestone placed down so no gas can break this from under us. And, you know, we'll just kind of cover this all up right here and then break this out just a little bit so we have some room to kind of play around with our little spawn area, maybe get a few chests put in. And then I do want to cover this up almost completely and just have a little doorway come out. So let me break that block right there. And we can just come down like this and do something a little bit along these lines and just kind of stare our way up, I guess. I'm going to get a picture of these coordinates real quick while I finish up blocking this off. All right, now that I got a photo of the cords, we can just start to build a little staircase kind of going up this direction. We do want to get out of this basalt delta. I hate these things with a passion. They are not very fun to be in because they're like the single most dangerous biome in all of Minecraft, maybe besides the end. The end can be pretty dangerous sometimes. So we're up here, lots of lava as usual with a basalt delta. 
Let's just do a little bit of parkour and hopefully not fall into any lava either. So we're up pretty high, it looks like. Let's check our cords. Yeah, we're up at 71, which isn't super high, but it's definitely on the higher end of things. We got a magma cube right over there. I'm going to go for this jump, which shouldn't be too bad. Oh, and we got a nether fortress right there. So I think we're going to jump directly into this guy, actually, and try to get ourselves out of this basalt delta and do some exploring through the nether fortress while we are at it. All right, this is always the worst part of just dropping straight in and seeing what's in there. Okay, so we have a magma cube, which sucks. Let's hit this guy and shoot him back. Luckily, we got this punch, actually. I'm usually not the biggest fan of punch, but I don't mind it in the nether just because a lot of this stuff is so dangerous that I guess it kind of helps, and I probably shouldn't be using my bow because we do not have too many arrows. Probably would have been smart, actually, to get those arrows. So hopefully, we have enough to actually like kill all these guys off and i think i already see some nether wart which is pretty sweet to have those guys right off the start and we're gonna do one of these so no wither skeletons can kind of cross through let's check up there if there's any wither skeletons right up here is any guys up here okay that is a pretty quick drop off yeah it doesn't look like anything's up here so i'm gonna collect up some of these guys which is pretty sweet this is like the main reason i wanted to come in so i'm happy that we got this right off at the beginning all right moving on we got a little skeleton right there and this is not a one-shot bow yeah i didn't think it was and we're just going to kind of build like this constantly throughout here uh we got some glitched lava right there what is up these stairs Let's see anything special up here okay so we do have ourselves a chest down that way and we're just going to kind of continue on with this and i'm going to make my way down to that chest we got one right here just some iron flint steel we'll take it for now but that's something we can easily get rid of is there anything down here okay so another staircase is right there and we just got to keep doing this to play it safe here and we want to get these going pretty decently so we can outrun wither skeletons if they do spawn in in one of those little gaps these guys are so scary it's insane I think wither skeletons are actually one of the scariest things in the game. All right, we got that wither skeleton killed off there, and I just got to keep placing this in because I do not want to get killed by a wither skeleton in the nether. This isn't too bad, luckily. Oh, that's the chest we went to. So that is why I want to break the chest, but this isn't too bad because we are so close to the portal that it shouldn't make a huge deal. We got a pretty quick drop off there, so let's put some blocks right there. Take the nether wart. Uh, oh, you know what? I probably should take the gold armor. I did not bring any with me, and I'm going to need that for piglins if we actually go outside of the nether fortress. And if you can tell, the volumes turned down pretty low here just because the nether tends to be a very, very loud kind of dimension. It's definitely the loudest dimension too. The nether kind of takes the top for all of these things, I guess. I poked my head up here and I saw a wither skeleton. Where did this guy go? He was just right here. Come on. Oh god, I do not like this. Okay, 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 okay. Back down to hidden spot. I should probably get ourselves hooked up with that uh, shield real quick. Yep, kind of forgot that we brought that guy. So I got ourselves hooked up with a decent amount of blaze rods here. We're up to 11, which is pretty nice. Found a blaze spawner and just used my bow and arrow to kind of collect them from a distance. I think the blaze spawner was actually, I got to be careful as I go through here. I haven't been blocking off everything, but I think it was right over. It's right there. It's literally that right there. And then there's one down that hallway over there, which is pretty sweet because I'm going to be using one of these to make a mob grinder with a blaze farm because one, they give you a ton of experience and two, there is a wither right here. So I got to be careful. Oh my gosh. Thought he was going to hit me. I got to be careful. I got to be a lot more careful with this place. I haven't been blocking off places and I've just been kind of like walking through random areas without looking around the corner before because next thing you know, there might be three withers on me and it looks like we came up to this area. Yeah, I remember coming up to this area. But besides the blaze rods, I've been collecting up uh, some quartz ore since we only have silk touch on us and we'll just use the fortune pickaxe once we get back. We have ourselves the nether wart, the soul sand, uh, a few pieces of glowstone and I want to get more glowstone. And I hopefully want to find ourselves maybe a crimson forest would be pretty nice just because we can collect up some of the uh, crimson grass or I don't even know the name crimson root maybe and we can grow those guys back at home and this is kind of my little uh, collecting spot for these blaze rods so if I just kind of peek around the corner just hit that guy hit him again and I've gone through a lot of our arrows sadly and we're going to need these guys for the gas which you can hear kind of groaning around and if we run up here Hopefully we can hit him before he hits us. And yeah, we got him. And there's one more right there. So let's see if we can hit this guy. Where is he? He's kind of hiding. He's hiding a little bit. 
So I want to find my way kind of around and maybe explore this place just a little bit more. So I think I'm going to call it here for the nether. We've done a decent amount of exploring. I haven't gotten too far away but I really want to gear myself up just a little bit more before we start to really venture out. So I got a lot of the stuff from the nether put away and we're going to be building that bridge that we were talking about last episode. I don't know why I just ran around the whole house, but it's going to come from right here. It's going to be a little bit of a diagonal bridge or actually it's, I think it's going to be completely diagonal and it's just going to shoot across this direction. And I was debating if we do this in time lapse or more of like a multi-step process. And I think we're going to do this in a multi-step process because I have no clue how long this is going to take me because I'm not very good when it comes to that diagonal bridges and I'm going to try perfecting this. So this may be a few hour long project. So I definitely say that is going to be the rough layout right there. We're going to have a post kind of go down right there and a post go down right over there and drop down and then kind of have a big archway right through the center center so we can still easily get a boat through there, which will be pretty nice. And I think I'm going to get started on the post first and then kind of get started on the archways. I don't necessarily know which one I'm going to do yet, or I might get started on getting some slabs placed in for kind of the walkway. I'm still trying to figure this one out. So I got the arch in the top area all finished up here and it's looking pretty nice. I'm actually really proud of myself for this one. Did take almost an hour just to kind of get the base design down, but from right here, it looks pretty good. Don't mind the dirt right there. That's going to be gone, obviously, just a little scaffolding. But yeah, I think this arch is pretty cool. Definitely tough to build angled bridges. I will tell you right now, I would try to build a few before you try building one in survival because they are a pain in the butt to build in survival because you constantly fall down, have to go back up and kind of fix little spots. And the bridge is all finished up. This thing is looking immaculate. We got some leaves hanging down from the sides, some lanterns, a few banners, but what I'm most proud about is actually the diagonal arch. That thing was really tough to do. It took me a few different tries, but I am happy with how it turned out. And there's a few little touch-ups that we can do to this place, like maybe putting some crop fields down on the edge right here, right along the post. And the posts were very, very tough to do. Those took me a while to figure out. Actually, I think the post took me longer than the arch. The arch just was hard to kind of think of how I was going to go about it, especially using stairs. It can come out a little bit odd, but I am happy with how this guy turned out. As you can tell, obviously, I am in the enhanced default shaders right now, which is making that shadowing as usual, which always looks super cool. I do like this one, I think, a lot better than the other one we've been using. I just like the default look of Minecraft. I think it just has a very cool look, and maybe it's just I don't like the change that much that a really, really like high tech shaders does to Minecraft. I kind of just enjoy this look, but moving on with today's episode is we are going to be building up ourselves a barn over here and I already got started clearing out a little bit of the trees, but I still got a little bit more to finish up. So we're going to quickly jump into a time lapse of me finishing up those trees. So pretty quickly here, you can see me kind of going into the trees. So this is a little bigger of a hillside than I thought it was going to be originally, definitely a little bigger. I mean, it goes up probably like nine or ten blocks maybe i would say but i did get a decent amount of oak and birch out of this which is really nice but i do need to start conserving my uh diamond axe because that thing does not have unbreaking on it and like i said last episode we have no more diamonds so we are quickly going to start running out of that diamond axe and we need to start getting ourselves a mind set up so we might be working on that next episode so some of the final leaves are just fading away right now but we're gonna have to kind of take down this hill a little bit i would say like three or four blocks not necessarily because I want it to be super flat, but this is a little tall for me. I'm going to be building a lighthouse in a few episodes, kind of right in this area. And I don't want this to kind of almost look at the same height as that. Even if it goes up 10 blocks higher, it's not going to look tall enough. And that was kind of my issue there is that it just didn't look tall enough. So I'm going to take this down a few blocks real quick. So now that I got this taken down a few blocks, this looks like a pretty solid area. And the reason I don't want to take it down too far is I think it would be kind of cool to almost have some foundation showing under this barn right here, like a little bit of cobblestone and a sight and stone would look pretty nice, but this should be a solid sized area right here. And kind of the future plan with this is one, get the barn built up, and then maybe in a few episodes, I either wanna get a horse track built up, so a big oval, or I wanna do kind of a straight shot across and have trip wires kind of going along it so we can test how fast our horses really are. But I still gotta figure out how that's gonna work with the trip wires, kind of a confusing concept, easy, but confusing to think about, at least for me at the moment. So now I think I'm gonna get this kind of set up with a little bit of an outline of what it's going to be looking like. 
and that idea a little bit is going to be either six to eight horses it's going to be 11 blocks wide i kind of got something set up in a creative world just to get a little testing done because i didn't want to build the whole thing up and then want to kind of almost tear it down i did that in my last survival world not planning on doing that in this one but so 11 blocks wide and then depending on how many horses we do either six or eight uh, i can just extend it out it's a pretty easy design to do of how I have it set up. It's just kind of like little like units almost, I guess you could say. And it's gonna be pretty open. Like you're gonna be able to see right through it almost, but it does look pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm gonna get this outline set up real quick. So this is the outline all set up here. And this is 11 by 17, which should be enough to get eight horses in there which I think will be plenty and I might do a separate building right over here for kind of like a little breeding area. I think it could be pretty cool to do. I don't know, just having two buildings up here might look pretty nice. And I got some big plans for kind of across the river on this side, which is pretty nice. And I know I said this last episode, but for those of you guys who weren't here last episode, the idea is kind of carry the village all the way down to the skeleton spawner, which is a little bit down the river. I would say over in that direction, I guess. I think it's that way. Yeah, let's go with that way. But now that this outline's built up, I think we're gonna jump this into time-lapse mode of me kind of just getting this whole thing built up and finished. So I will see you guys when this is finished. So the building itself is all finished up here, but I think there's actually a lot of work to be done and that's kind of why I cut the time lapse a bit early there is because before I set up this almost like foundation type thing, we're directly under the post of the building and I kind of wish I didn't do that because now I kind of want to extend this out like six or seven blocks with dirt and terraform this whole area to have a mini cliff right there just because I really don't like how high this thing is off the ground. I would have done that in a time lapse, but I did not necessarily have all the resources I think I was gonna need for that. And I also wanted to do the building over here that we were talking about, but once again, I don't think I would have enough resources, but what I did end up changing from my original design is this little area right here. So the thought behind this little area is that we can put hay and we can maybe put a barrel with uh, saddles and leads in it, which would be pretty nice to have them over here anyways, and to kind of split up the building just a little bit, because as I said earlier, this thing is very hollow and you can see right through it, which I do like, but it definitely needed this little little area, I guess you could say right here. And I'm thinking of maybe doing one over there or kind of uh, all the way across in the other corner right there might look nice, but there will definitely not be any fireplaces there. And we still got to put a fireplace over in that area. Overall though, I do like the building. It does look a little big from back here because all the buildings we've built so far haven't been on the bigger side of things. They've actually been pretty small. So from back here, it definitely looks large, but I think if we do terraform it, it could really make a big difference to kind of the whole area itself. And I still do want to do that kind of animal, or not animal track, but horse track down along this side, kind of in this big area that we have opened up here. And it looks like it does begin to flatten out, which will be pretty nice because we do want that track to obviously be 100% flat. So I think what I'm going to do is actually jump down into, I don't even know a mine, I'm, I don't have a strip mine yet necessarily. I have like a really basic one. So I think I'm just going to dig out a really big area and collect up a ton of stone and kind of get some dirt going so we can actually terraform this area. And I'm also just waiting for a lot of this grass to grow in, which it may have all grown in now because this is all going to be pathway throughout here, which will look pretty nice is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go collect up the rest of those materials that we're going to need. And we're going to kind of end off the episode with doing this terraforming job. Not going to be in a time lapse, I don't think, because that might be the third time lapse of today's episode, which might be a little much. I mean, I don't know if you guys mind it, but yeah, I'm just going to do kind of a step by step process of me going along kind of fixing up this area. All right, so I got all our blocks collected up that we're gonna need to terraform this. I probably went a little overkill on the amount of blocks I got. I got us this much dirt and this much stone, but I didn't wanna take any chances. Oh, where'd that guy go? 
Come on, come back here. I'm going to make a little area. Or we already have one right here. Come on, let me get up here. Come on, come back, dude. All I want to do is, is get an ender pearl from you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? All right, well, I guess he's gone. All right, so the plan right now is I got to get rid of all of this, uh, what's it called? Tra or not trap doors, slabs right here. But I don't want to use my diamond axe because it's about to break, which means next episode we actually have to get started on getting a strip mine set up because we are out of diamonds, like 100%. That is all the diamonds we have. We spent them all already. So we are definitely going to have to get ourselves set up with a strip mine. I'm just going to make myself a stone axe for now. I mean, I could make ourselves an iron one, but honestly, don't care too much as long as it cuts wood quicker than the hand. So I'm going to get all this taken down and I'm going to get a rough layout of how I want the land to look. Skipping ahead a little bit here, I got the cliff pretty much finished up besides one little part, which we're not going to be able to work on today. Not because I don't have enough time necessarily, and I am running out of time anyways, but still I have a kind of a cool idea for this, but that's going to have to wait until we get started on setting up kind of that horse area uh, down the ways. But I think it turned out pretty cool. I got the pathway kind of going through here, which I definitely still need to extend to come around to this side and have it come around this way. But I'm going to have to get rid of this stone and I still need to have a pathway kind of lead up here. So I think we're going to finish off the episode with kind of getting those pathways set up. I think this actually turned out really cool looking. I didn't go too crazy on the cliff side here. All it is is stone and then towards the bottom we have a lot of cobblestone and then it kind of gradients into the top which is just pretty much a hundred percent stone so for the path we're going to be going our typical design here of just kind of like carry pathway and then maybe we'll have it kind of wrap out a little bit and then we'll bring it back around and it can just meet right about there so it's going to have a little bit of a rolling edge to it a little bit not too much and then we're going to get some plants and kind of do the same thing as we did right there. So I'm really loving how this looks with the pathway here on the cliff. I think we have the icing on the cake, but the cherry still needs to put on top. And I think we're going to do a few custom trees, not too many, maybe two or three, just kind of around the barn to really set that cherry on top of the cake, which I think will look pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, I'm loving this little area right here. I'm happy to expand the village and kind of expand it out this way and be able to get a few more buildings in. And I got some pretty cool plans for the next few episodes of this series, but I'm going to get these few trees put in real quick and I'll bring you guys back once they're done and we can end off the episode. And that cherry has officially been placed on top. These trees are looking pretty good. This one looks a little light, so I might fix it up in between episodes, but it's fine for now. I wanted to do a few more trees, but if you look at our ax here, I have no durability left. We need to get a mine set up as soon as next episode, like it needs to be done. We need some more diamonds. But yeah, I'm really happy with how today's episode went. We got into the nether, we built up this really, really nice bridge that I'm super proud of, and now we got ourselves a barn going, and we're definitely going to be doing some horse taming pretty soon here, because we have eight spots, or seven spots actually, and only one horse in all the spots. So we definitely got to fill these guys up with all the best horses we can find or breed. But I think that is going to call it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Scratch that, actually. I wanted to show you guys how all this looks with shaders on, and it is looking mad crazy. This looks ridiculous, guys. Let's actually go into cinematic mode and check this out. The barn turned out a lot better than I thought, or at least when you're in, like, full shaders, it definitely looks pretty insane. And then if we actually jump down into the water, the bridge is looking pretty immaculate too let's check this guy out if i can actually make my jumps and hop in this boat here look at that guys just the darkness from the leaves makes it look so dramatic and the lights dangling down super low but i think we're actually going to call it for today's episode guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode